Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so once again, Jesse Street Meat Smollett is back in the damn news. I'm gonna continue to call him Street Meat because I have no damn respect for Jesse Smollett for just the fuck shit that he just, you know, he, he did looking for attention. You know what I'm saying? Any damn ways. So what's going on now is this. The Chicago police are not letting this go. We know that his 16 felony counts were dropped um, a few months ago. And so right now they're reopening this investigation. And they just leaked out 36 hours of video trailing Jesse Smollett, the Osendario brothers, and everything else. So in the latest video that's come out, we see Jesse Smollett walking around with <laughs> With what looks to be dental floss around his damn neck, okay? He claims it's a noose. And what's so crazy is that the police officer's like, do you want to take it off or anything? Because even they're looking like, bruh, really? This looks like some damn fishing line, dental floss. We, we've all seen damn nooses. This is the flimsiest noose I've ever seen in my life. He couldn't hang an ant off that damn noose, okay? Jesse needs to sit the hell down with this damn cockamania-ass story that him and the Olsen Darrow brothers decided to, you know, concoct. And like I said from day one, I would not be surprised if Lee Daniels' ass was somewhere behind all of this. All this shit looks like a damn empire storyline. Anyways, y'all go ahead and check out this clip and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Those new developments in the Jesse Smollett case, Chicago police releasing 69 hours of footage, including body cam video of Smollett with that noose around his neck after the alleged attack. ABC's Alex Perez is in Chicago with more. Good morning to you, Alex. Hey, good morning, Michael. Smollett denies any wrongdoing. This is our first close-up look at how things unfolded the night he told police he was attacked. This morning, new images of Jesse Smollett from the night he claimed he was assaulted by two men in an apparent hate crime. Police body cam video capturing the embattled actor at his apartment still wearing the noose he says his attackers put around his neck. The video, part of some nearly 70 hours of surveillance, body cam footage, investigative records, and other images made public by the Chicago Police Department. Authorities blurring faces. The alleged assault happening this past January, early in the morning after Smollett headed back to his apartment. The alleged attackers, now known to be these two brothers, who police say can be seen in a cab allegedly heading to meet Smollett. The light. And later, seen walking down the street in this video. The supposed incident itself not captured on tape. For weeks, authorities investigated the claims, but later determined Smollett fabricated the attack. Investigators saying the alleged attackers were Abel and Ola Osendaro, who police say can be seen in the video running on the street after the alleged attack. Any justice will have that conversation. The two appearing alongside Smollett as extras in the show Empire. Police say he hired them to carry out the assault. This new video shows the brothers being arrested at O'Hare Airport back in February. Smollett was indicted on 16 felony counts, but in a controversial move, the Cook County prosecutor later dropping those charges. And the judge has now ordered a special prosecutor be appointed to review how this case was handled. The city of Chicago is also filing a civil suit against Smollett to recover the cost of the investigation. Cecilia? Honey. So you guys just saw that news clip. So this entire situation is crazy. But what's even crazier is that more news has come out today. And they're saying days after his story went viral, Jussie Smollett spent hours Googling himself, Googling what people had to say, Googling the story. I'm sure he ran across my damn videos like, bitch, I don't believe shit that's coming out your mouth. Because me, Star, and a few of us, we stood our ground while people attacked us, called us homophobic and everything else. I'm like, nah, something's not cleaning the buttermilk. And if you don't have common sense to see the holes in this story, you're dumb, okay? So basically, this man sat there Googling himself, you know what I mean? But you're supposed to be laid up in the hospital somewhere being the gay Tupac. 
but instead you're Googling yourself, trying to see what folks are saying about you, trying to see if you're viral. This is an indication that, you know, Jesse Smollett is a true narcissist. And before this situation, I've all, I had always been a Jesse Smollett fan. He had been very unproblematic and, you know, let's not forget he's fine as hell, okay? He is cute. I will give him that, okay? I'm not gonna take that from him, liar. <laughs> he is handsome, but... Okay, so I've never had any issues with Jesse before this, but when you just lie to this extent and you try and salt my intelligence, then you're just canceled for a long time, okay? Jesse Smollett is still canceled to me. I broke it down while he was lying back then. I took a lot of hits. People, you know, unsubscribe. People unfollowed me. People cussed me out on Instagram. And then everything came out that this fool was just lying and just more and more information is coming out that he's lying. But now I will say this, okay? What I do find funny is that they're going so hard to prove, you know what I'm saying, that he's a liar. They really want to get him indicted and everything else. And, you know, I don't recall them going this hard for other white folks who have lied about shit. Like, let, let's keep it real. You've had a lot of white folks make up stories, lie about shit, you know what I'm saying, seeking attention. And, you know, it's just kind of swept under the rug. Let's look at Ryan Lockkey. Y'all yeah, remember the swimmer. Remember, I drug his ass a few years ago. And the media tried to say he was a boy. He was scared, so he lied. He's the one who was there. It was during the Olympics. I think it was in Brazil. And he lied, and, you know, because they were late going to, you know, they had to be back in, and they were late. And they tried to lie and say they got jumped by some crazy Brazilians. Just lied. Him and the swim team. You know what I'm saying? But I don't see anybody, like, truly investigating their case at the way that they're doing Jesse Smollett. Now, granted, it wasn't as much resources spent on Ryan Lotke, but that's what I'm saying. Basically, he got drugged by the media. He got drugged on social media. And then it was done and over with. He moved on with his life, and that's it. But they're really digging to take Jesse Smollett down. And I think the reason why they're doing this, like I've always said from day one, there's a lot of political shit in the mix. Okay, somebody caught in a favor. Jesse Smollett's parents, you know, they were very involved in like, you know, political stuff way back then, especially being that they were an interracial couple, you know, fighting for human rights. I feel like Jesse Smollett very much wants to get involved in politics. We see him hanging with Kamala Harris, Cory Booker, and all these people all the time. You know, and that's from part of his background. You know how his family raised him. So I feel like he did this, one, for attention, one, because it was politically motivated, because let's not forget, honey, the people who attacked him, there were two white men wearing MAGA country hats, okay? Make America great again. And whose slogan is that? Donald Trump. So I feel like there was a lot of people involved. And like I've always said, once they start pulling back the onion, they start pulling back the layers, they're going to see, you know, Kamala Harris, Cory Booker, and a few other people, <clears throat> Lee Daniels, you know what I'm saying, somewhere in the damn mix. That's how I was like, you know what, before, you know, more shit comes out, let's just let him go and act like nothing happened. People hate crimes. Anyone attacked in a hate crime like this is an outrage. This is, this is stomach turning, mind boggling mm -hmm. information. It, it's, it's out of control. And Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi tweeting the racist homophobic attack on Jesse Smollett is an affront to our humanity. And Senator Cory Booker said the vicious attack on actor Jesse was an attempted modern day lynching. Kamala Harris calling the attack an attempted modern day lynching. But I'm so shaken by the story. <sighs> Which tweet? Which tweet? What tweet? Uh, the, about uh, saying that it is a modern day lynching that, um, uh, sorry. <laughs> Jesse Smollett. Um, I, I, okay, so I will say. So I really feel like the reason why they're really pursuing this and keeping their foot on Jesse's neck is because they're trying to tie other political figures in with this bullshit. That, that's what it boils down to. You know what I'm saying? Had he just said he got jumped by just some crazy, you know, redneck hillbilly, it probably would have been brushed under the rug. No one would have been none the wiser. But when he tried to spin it politically and make it a whole MAGA country, you know, MAGA, you know, Donald Trump supporters versus us, that's where the drama comes in at. Because at this point, 
you're trying to go after the president. And I would not be surprised if the president is making sure that the Chicago Police Department, whoever else is involved in reinvestigating the case, if they're the ones putting their foot on Jesse's neck to make an example out of him. So this entire situation is crazy, but I definitely believe that the rabbit hole goes deep. And he put himself in that situation, so I don't feel bad for him. Because a lot of us, when we initially heard this story, myself included, I felt really bad. I posted, you know, I, I felt genuinely bad for him because, like I said, initially, to me, Jussie was very unproblematic. You know, he seemed like a really cool guy. You know, he was out there just doing his thing. And so as more information came out, I'm like, okay, now, hold up, bitch. Something ain't cleaning the buttermilk. Two o'clock in the morning, doing a polar vortex. I'm in Minneapolis, you're in Chicago. It's literally negative 29 degrees. Like, get the fuck out of here. Nobody's going out in the middle of a polar vortex to go get a Subway sandwich, okay? So it was just a lot of stuff that just didn't make sense. And then to see the video of him walking around with the noose, who would still want that, you know, noose around their neck? Oh, I kept it on so you guys could see it. Like, bruh, really? I would have been took it off and just handed it to the police. So I don't know. The whole situation is just insane. It's going to be very interesting to see how all this plays out. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Jesse Street Meat Smollett. Okay? Basically, new video coming out showing him wearing the noose. And then now more information coming out talking about how he was Googling himself upwards of 50 times a day. When the story was damn viral, okay? Like a true narcissist that he is. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.